Hello, my name is my name is Mr. Steffler. I'm here in Clintondale Middle School at room 111. And I'm here to today to talk about chapter 15, especially the first two portions of chapter 15, the portions that have to do with Louisiana and Florida. And I'm doing this so we um, will do good on our quiz and understand how the United States doubled in size in 1803. So let's start out with um, the main topic of our chapter, which is manifest destiny. And what manifest destiny is, is it's an idea that the United States deserves and should spread itself across from sea to shining sea, from Atlantic to Pacific. The whole continent should be ours. And at the time in the 1800s, we didn't have the whole continent. Um, we, our western border was the Mississippi River. So we were looking to expand our country into areas that were owned by Britain and Mexico and, um, and France. So let's start out talking about um, let's start out talking about Louisiana. Um, Louisiana was purchased from France in 1803. The reason that France wanted to purchase it or to sell it to us was because they had lost their colony in Haiti and had no real reason to keep a North American empire. So um, in 1803, um, Thomas Jefferson realized that. Um, the Western farmers needed a port at the end of the Mississippi River, and New Orleans was at the end of the Mississippi River, and it was controlled by France. So um, Thomas Jefferson offered to buy it from France, and France's leader was Napoleon Bonaparte, and Napoleon was famous for the wars that he was in, and wars cost money, and Jefferson had money. And like I said, France didn't really want the colony of Louisiana anymore anyway. So when we offered to buy just New Orleans, they counteroffered and said, no, if you're going to buy New Orleans, you need to buy the whole thing, which is all of Louisiana. So um, big news here is the United States, with one purchase, doubles in size. It gets twice as big. And um, it only cost us $15 million. I mean, if you think about it, $15 million, although back then was a lot of money, today is very, very little. So um, the most important things to remember about the Louisiana Purchase is it gave us control of the Mississippi River. It gave us control of the city of New Orleans and gave us millions and millions of acres, which, I mean, basically um, is about 10 or 12 states from the Gulf of Mexico all the way up to Canada as part of the Louisiana Purchase. So the people who were most excited about the Louisiana Purchase were Western farmers because they could now send their grain to New Orleans to be sold and not have to pay taxes to a foreign government. The next portion I want to talk about is a state that is known as the Sunshine State. And this, of course, is Florida. Uh, many of us have been to Florida. They know that Disney World is in Florida, and there's lots of beaches and large cities. But at the time, Florida was basically a swamp that was owned by Spain. There were no major cities there, and Spain did not really do much to take care of it. Florida eventually became the home of a renegade band of Indians called Seminoles, who were really the Lower Creeks. And the Seminoles would sneak across the border into Georgia and raid and burn farms. And this was making the people in Georgia really, really scared. Also, the people of Georgia were concerned that their slaves were running away and hiding in Florida. So the United States government sent General Andrew Jackson there. And Andrew Jackson looked at the scene and said, well, I'm going to go right in there and see what happens. So Andrew Jackson led his troops into Florida where he captured some British um some British traders, and um, basically started to go to war with the Seminoles. Um, and because Andrew Jackson moved in on so quickly, we had to contact Spain and say, look, our general's already there. He's going to stay there and, unless you sell it to us. So um, what, we, what we need is we need you to sell us Florida, or it could result in a war. And so Spain agreed to sell Florida to us for $5 million dollars. And what that did was solve the runaway slave problem, and it solved the problem with the Seminoles, even though we fought them for years and years. Um, but the interesting thing about Florida and Louisiana is now we had a coast on the Gulf of Mexico. And um, Florida and 
Louisiana also have this in common. We got them both through diplomacy, meaning making a deal. We cut a deal so that Florida could be part of the United States. We didn't go to war over it, which is what we're going to do next when we learn about how we got Texas and California and what's called the Mexican session. That's later in the chapter. So just recap, um, we got Florida and Louisiana through diplomacy. We bought them for a combined $20 million. Um, Louisiana was bought in 1803. Florida was bought in 1819. Um, Louisiana was bought from France. Florida was bought from Spain. Um, and like I said, they were both purchased or they were both gained through diplomacy. Um, we are going to have a quiz. It's going to be a matching quiz. And I hope that everybody watches this video. My goal is to get 100 hits on YouTube. So um, without further ado, good luck studying and God bless America.